time is ticking for Mr. Larson and it was only a matter of time before someone would come along and scare him enough to start taking down his precious and most valuable boards on his only thing he's ever accomplished, which is a very sad accomplishment, which is the website Rapey. This morning I woke up to a post written on the website that said, what happened to Pricklophil? Pricklophil, Pricklophil, I don't know how to say it, but just so you do know a little background story, it's referencing a man who kidnapped a young girl named Natasha and kept her in the basement of his home for 10 years. So yeah, with that being said, I bet you could guess what was on that board. It was a whole lot of child pornography. And someone asked what happened to this board. Mr. Larson responded, this happened. On Friday, October 23rd, 2020, the Child Protective Research Center started an investigation about rapey.su, and it includes the web address, the domain, the email, the IP, and child porn found, yes. Reason for investigation, through organization Free a Girl, CPRC got an email on Thursday, October 22nd, 2020, about the website RapeySU. The original email stated the website RapeySU contains a lot of child porn. In the following hours, the website RapeySU set the public photos and videos to private. CPRC created an account at the website to check if there's child porn on this website. Our findings from the last 24 hours are found in these documents. Our photos of little boys that I'm not going to include because it's just very disturbing and triggering and I would just like to keep that out. Um, but I promise you it was disturbing enough for this investigation to be started as there are many disturbing things on that website and there always has been child pornography. It's just been very hard to prove, very hard to find as a lot of it was hidden to the public and you had to have a membership I myself have never made a membership. I've never gone looking for a CP. I knew it was there. I knew about this board, but it's very good that someone is actually doing something about it and an entire organization and foundation is now involved and they are actually based in Netherlands. So you might be thinking, well, it's not the US. Well, it's not the FBI. Obviously the FBI can do the very most because they can go in and arrest him. But the reason that they're not is because it's so hard to trace because of the fact that his servers are not in the United States and for some odd reason they won't they don't deem this important enough to trace it all the way back and forth and back and forth just for Nathan Larson I do find it that extremely serious because at the end of the day this man should not be influencing anyone, let alone children, soliciting nudes from them, telling them it's okay to run away, telling them how to self-harm. I mean, there's so many things, as you've seen all my videos and you know why I'm doing this, most people can all agree that this man deserves to be behind bars. And it's just taking a very long time. But now that there is a, yet another investigation going on by people who may actually have the means to do something and collect all the evidence for the FBI themselves, we're hoping that the FBI will start to move in and do something as they don't really need to even do a lot of work as people in Anonymous, the CPRC, me, so many others have done so much research. There's really not much left to do except arrest him as there's so much proof that he is the one behind all of this. And Mr. Larson knows that his time is ticking. Therefore, he is finally going in and removing things that are actually very incriminating, which is something that he doesn't normally do because again, he's very narcissistic and he does not believe he could be caught. The fact that he's removing it is gonna cause people to leave, which is gonna cause him to get very upset because he likes his community and he likes having all this power. Without these power, without these followers, without his website, who even is he? just a pedophile in a basement. In these documents, it does include the website host, the email addresses of um, people hosting the website. It does include the server. It includes Mr. Larson's email. It's a very big deal that Mr. Larson actually took down this entire thread and board and all this child pornography because he is one of those people that believes that, he, that nothing can stop him. And so the fact that he's actually removing things shows that he is scared and that he is nervous because he has a lot to hide and he has a lot to be in trouble for. He's just been dancing through loopholes his entire life pretty much. And everything is starting to catch up to him. His website is failing. He's having to take down things that keep people coming back because if you think about it, without the child pornography, even many users have said, well, I'm not coming back because where is there anything? What, what, what's, what's the point at this point? Members are leaving. 
there's no more child pornography and things are starting to crumble for Mr. Larson so much so that he actually started up another website dedicated to the glorification of self-harm where this 40 year old pedophile tells kids how they can kill themselves and how to hurt themselves and I think needless to say we really need to get this man off the internet and it seems like the ball is rolling in the right direction. Although it is an amazing thing that so many people are now getting involved and there's so much awareness around this terrible website it is extremely unsettling that the FBI has still yet to move in and do something, even if it is one man and even if it seems like such a small, minuscule problem, it isn't. Because there are so many people affected by Mr. Larson, there are so many people that follow him, and there's such a big community of terrible, terrible people exploiting children on the internet, and it is just not okay. And there are so many different pedophiles that they could catch if they would just really go into this website and if they would see all of the users and all of the different pedophiles and all of the people that have child pornography that actually do rape children, kidnap children. There are so many people on this website that are genuinely monsters and that could be caught and they there could be something done about it and there could be lives saved and children out of harm's way if someone would just actually move in and arrest these people and start some sort of mass arrest for the large amount of pedophiles that are so active in this community and um it is very scary that nothing's been done yet but i think that another investigation being done and Nathan actually being scared and removing stuff is a step in the right direction again. So I actually personally reached out to the CPRC and I'm waiting to hear back from them. I want to just know a little bit more about the investigation. It's a child protective research center based in the Netherlands but they do work internationally and it's just amazing that so many other people are now involving themselves into this case and spreading so much awareness around Mr. Larson and his disgusting, horrible websites. I'd like to thank everybody who's worked so diligently to take down this website and to make it known that Mr. Larson exists and to really spread awareness about this horrific and terrible website and community online. And I thank everybody who's still fighting so hard today for this man to be put behind bars. It does seem like his community is pretty much crumbling around him as minors are leaving, pedophiles are leaving, so many people are abandoning him, and once he's isolated and alone, it'll be very easy to catch him. I do have very good faith that this man will end up behind bars, but it is a matter of time, and it's a matter of how many people can really band together and say that this needs to stop. Our justice system is completely failing us that it's stayed up this long, but I still do believe there is hope because altogether we are a army of people literally saying, please, do something about Mr. Larson. And that is pretty much it for now. I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated and let you know if they respond to me. It's just amazing to see yet another organization and group of people really go after this horrific monster. And it really gives me hope that something is actually going to be done about this. I know it's taking a lot of patience and it's taking a lot of time, but I do have good faith that Mr. Larson will end up behind bars or in a padded room, whichever one works. I really don't care, but he needs to get off the internet because he is in absolutely no position to be influencing anyone, let alone children. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave all my contact information below if you have any information or if you just want to talk. If you happen to have anything against Mr. Larson or you know anything, feel free to send me a message down below. And thank you so much for watching and supporting this entire case. I will see you guys next time, and that's pretty much it. Bye.